Welcome back to the Pioneer Sideline. We have a new face in Maggie McCauley joining us to talk about what is going on regionally. So Maggie, take it away. The Pittsburgh Penguins were the prey in a loss Sunday night in a shutout against the Nashville Predators at Consol Energy Center. With a score of 4-0 and a Metropolitan Division record of 28 14 and 8. They are currently ranked second in the division. The Predator goaltender Carter Hutton had 21 saves during the game. Defenseman Roman Jossie for the Predators scored within the first four minutes of the first period. The second goal was made just two minutes later by Gabriel Burke. The third goal was scored by Eric Nystrom with just seconds left on the clock in the second period. Mike Fisher scored the fourth and final goal for the Predators, Predators while Penguins captain Sidney Crosby was in the penalty box for slashing in the final period. A wrist shot was sent past Penguins goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury and former Penguins forward James Neal. The Penguins had 21 shots on goal, three power play opportunities, and four penalties. The Penguins play again on Wednesday night against the Edmonton Oilers at Consol Energy Center. The luck of the Irish was not on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish's side this past Saturday against the University of Pittsburgh Panthers. The Notre Dame men's college basketball team lost its first road game of the season with a score of 76-72. The Panthers were able to end a three-game losing streak by beating out a late push from the Irish. Jerry and Grant scored nine points, also a couple of free throws that put the Irish up 72-71 to with 30 seconds left in the second half. Then Pitt's James Robinson was able to put a bucket in with 12 seconds left to put Pitt up 76-72. to The University of Pittsburgh takes on the rival Syracuse Orangemen Saturday at Peterson Events Center. For Pioneer Sideline, I'm Maggie McCauley. In Nash News, we'll start off with the sporting event of the year in the Super Bowl. The game was close the whole way, and going into halftime, the game was tied 14-14. After halftime, the Seattle Seahawks jumped on the New England Patriots by a score of 24-14. to The fourth quarter was a different story, though, with the Patriots taking the lead at the 2-0-2 mark by a touchdown of Julian Edelman on Julian Edelman catch. Seattle drove down the field inside the five-yard line. The Patriots forced a turnover when Malcolm Butler intercepted a Russell Wilson pass, which sealed the game for the Patriots. This Super Bowl marks the fourth won by the team. Tom Brady won the Super Bowl MVP honors with his four touchdown performance. More bad news by, out of Seattle that, that came with them announcing that all pro cornerback Richard Sherman will have Tommy John surgery to repair his elbow and reserve corner Jeremy Lane suffered a serious break in his arm. There has been no timetable for either's return to action. Sadly, I'm not done with bad news in Seattle. They will also be losing their defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, who has taken the job to become the Atlanta Falcons' new head coach. This weekend was also a great day for MMA fans. The UFC at UFC 183 at the MMGM Grand Garden Arena, Anderson the Spider Silva made his return to the cage when he took on Nick Diaz in a middleweight bout. This bout was so big that they made it the main event for UFC 183. This was the first fight for Silva since he broke his leg in December 2013 in a TKO loss to Chris Weidman. Silva won the bout by unanimous decision. We'll finish in Cleveland where quarterback Johnny Manziel has entered a treatment facility. Manziel entered treatment on his own and entered it to improve himself. He said it's because of his lifestyle which he lives. When we get back on the sideline, Blaine King will rejoin me to talk about some of the keys to victory in the Super Bowl, so stay tuned. 